In this video, I want to show you fault code E475, which if you look very carefully, you can see is that the top fan motor is not running, while the bottom one is. And if we look over here, you can see E475 on the error display. 475 means that something's gone wrong with the top fan motor. And when you look on your inverter PCB here, the top fan motor is the back plug here. I've unplugged it to show the fault code. Now I'm going to show you how to diagnose the fan motor. So we've pulled the lead for the fan motor off and we've connected our multimeter in as you can see. So the black lead into the black plug and the red into the red plug. And when we go to our multimeter what we'll find is that the resistance is incredibly high. In this case over 2 million ohms. If the figure falls below a million ohms or one meg ohm, it means that the fan motor is faulty. Another way to test this if you don't have a meter is if you disconnect the fan guard by undoing the four screws at each of the corners of the grill and take the grill off. You'll see inside, you can see the nut which holds the fan on. If you undo this, it's left handed, so you have to do it up clockwise to undo it and take the fan blade off. When you turn the fan motor, you'll find that it's very stiff. If this is the case, it's faulty and the fan motor will need replacing. Exactly the same thing happens if the second fan motor, the lower one, goes wrong, which is plugged in here at the front. But in this case, the fault code is E458.